Hi, I'm Phil from the Soundproofing Store, and today we're going to talk through the Soundproofing Store's top three soundproofing solutions for stud walls. Before we start talking about the solutions, let's have a quick look at why stud walls are a problem. There are two main differences between a solid wall and a stud wall when it comes to sound. Firstly, stud walls are hollow. This empty space within the frame creates a sealed chamber where sound bounces around and echoes and amplifies, becoming even louder. This is called the drum effect because that's exactly how a drum works. If you want to see the drum effect in action, We've got a great video all about it that you can find on our YouTube channel. And the first step in all of our stud wall solutions is to fill the depth of the frame with a high density acoustic mineral wool. Now this alone isn't going to block the sound and won't make a huge difference but helps to minimize that drum effect before adding one of our solutions to the wall and will lead to a higher sound reduction in the end. The second difference between stud walls and solid walls is that stud walls are very lightweight. Now this is a problem because mass plays a huge part in blocking sound. The heavier and more dense the wall is, the harder it is for sound to pass through it. A solid brick or concrete wall has a much better starting point than a stud wall because it already has much more mass. So our solution for stud walls needs to add a lot of extra mass to the wall. Finally, sound is a physical energy. It's a vibration and that vibration travels through solid materials and through the contact of solid materials. To stop the sound coming through, we need to stop the vibration from coming through. And there are two ways to reduce the vibration. The best way is through decoupling. In other words, building another wall in front of the existing wall with a gap in between. So they're completely disconnected. This makes it much more difficult for the vibration to travel through as it has to jump across a physical gap. But decoupling takes up space. The alternative is to add resilience to the wall, which allows the wall to flex and dampen the vibration. For this video, we'll assume that you're looking at soundproofing an existing stud wall and that you probably only want to treat one side. If you are building a new stud wall or are able to treat both sides, then the following still applies, but you have a little more flexibility. Our most popular the most cost-effective solution is our ProSound Soundboard 4. This is a 30 mil thick board and it's installed as one single easy to install panel. It's made up of four layers consisting of three millimeter mass loaded vinyl, a nine millimeter closed cell acoustic foam, another three mil mass loaded vinyl, and finally a 15 mil acoustic grade plasterboard. The acoustic plasterboard and the mass loaded vinyl layers add an extra 29 kilograms of mass per meter square to the wall and add different types of mass to block different frequencies of sound. The closed cell foam separates the hard plasterboard layer from the stud wall and adds some resilience which helps to dampen some of the sound energy. Now you can install the soundboard for directly onto the stud frame, or if you want an even higher performance, you can cover the stud frame with a layer of acoustic plasterboard first, and then add the soundboard for over the top. This gives you even more mass. If a higher level of sound reduction is needed, the next level up is our reducto clip direct to wall system. Our reductor clips are fixed onto the front of the stud frame and basically act like shock absorbing brackets. You then attach the reductor clip fairing channels onto the clips to give you somewhere to fix your plasterboard layers to. We then cover the wall 
with a layer of 15 mil acoustic grade plasterboard, a layer of our flexi sound membrane, and then a final layer of 15 mil acoustic plasterboard. These layers add an extra 35 kilograms of mass per meter square to the wall, and we have different types of mass to block different frequencies of sound. The reductor clip system decouples the mass layers from the stud frame and gives the system resilience and flexibility to dampen high levels of sound energy. A good way to think about it is how the suspension springs in your car dampen the impact of potholes and bumps in the road to give you a smoother ride. The reductor clip system dampens and absorbs the sound energy of the sound wave that hits your wall. This system is 60 millimeters thick, which is the slimmest system of its kind on the market. So if you can afford to take up 60 mil of space, this system will give you a very high level of sound reduction and a better performance than the Soundboard 4, particularly for lower frequency sounds, such as low male voices or bass from music or TV. The final option is a little more extreme and more aimed at people trying to block out loud music or heavy bass. This could be for people building a home cinema room, a music space within their home, or if you just want to achieve the highest sound reduction you can. This is using our Reducto Clip independent system. This is the same system, but this time, instead of installing it directly onto the existing stud wall, we remove the plasterboard, we fill the frame with acoustic mineral wool, the same as with our previous options. Then we leave a gap of at least 10 millimeters, and then build a new stud frame in front, not touching the existing stud wall. This gives us a complete decoupling. We now fill the new frame with mineral wool and install the reducto clip system onto the new frame. Again, this is adding a high level of resilience and a high level of mass. This is going to take up 120 mil of space, but delivers by far the highest level of sound reduction. So to conclude, these are three options for soundproofing a stud wall aimed at three levels of noise problem. Remember, soundproofing isn't a one size fits all. It's important to use a system that will be suitable for your specific situation to really have the greatest chance of solving that problem. But if you're unsure of what solution is best for your situation, then the best thing to do is speak to an expert. Please give us a call and speak to one of our highly trained technical advisors who can talk you through and give you the best advice. As always, we're here to help.